about culling. You know, there are other devotionals. There's other ways that you can take the time to study, to read in the morning your portion, or as we say in Hebrew, your parsha, and uh, apply it to your life as God gives you inspiration and as the Holy Spirit directs you and guides you. And those are all as meaningful to you as God intercedes and inter inter interconnects with you to make it applicable to your life. Because you see, it's not just about reading them or understanding what they say. It's about knowing that God is speaking to you so your mind begins to set itself in order or in proper, we call it Seder, where it's like you start setting things in their proper category. You start setting them in place. You start stacking them in a way, line upon line, precept upon precept, so you have a proper understanding of God, so you can begin to see him for who he is as God is love. And you begin to recognize that he, as creator, arranged all this, his creation, to inspire you to look to him in the same way that a plant grows upward. You're to look up. In the same way that a plant branches out, you're to reach out. In the same way that creation knows its creator, you are to know your God. And that's what God is seeking to do in whatever means he chooses to inspire you, whether it be through devotionals that we're sharing, like God calling, or devotionals that you have, or reading the word, or going to church, or whatever structured time that you set aside to meet with God, because that's the key issue. You are to meet with God. That should be exciting. Your appointments should all center around God directing them, and the first one being Him. His appointment for me this day, cling to me, cling to me until the life from me, the divine life, by that very contact flows into your being and revives your fainting spirit. Become recharged. When weary, do as I did on earth. Sit by the well. Rest. Rest to gain power and strength, and the work too will come as you Rest and gain power and strength, and the work too will come to you as it came to me. Rest till every care thought has gone, and then let the tide of joy and love flow in. And that's a key issue is that a lot of times we try, we try and we strive to do things in our own strength because we figure, oh, you know, I'm busy, you know, I got nine to five and I got to be doing this or eight to five or whatever it may be. And I need to be about this or that, or up, or down, or all around the town. But if you're weary, if you're worn out, if you're tired, are you ready for what might happen, for what might come around the next corner? Are you prepared for the next catastrophe, or the next blessing? When you need to, Stop. Be still. Rest. It's okay. We are a driven people, and we choose at times to drive ourselves a lot farther than God would have us to walk each day. So, at times, don't be afraid to stop and remind yourself what your devotional said. Reacquaint yourself with what you read this day by opening your Bible and reading again what you might have already read or what you heard. Retell to yourself those words that God spoke to you personally and directly that <laughs> only you know and only He gave to you. And you'll find that as it flows into you, as you are reminded and remember, you'll observe something interesting happen the Holy Spirit will begin to build on that and fill you with strength and revitalize your weary soul. It can do it.
That's what he came here for, is to have relationship with you.